वेलकम वेलकम टू माई चैनल करेक्ट बायोलॉजी माई नेम इज डॉक्टर विकास भारद्वाज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू वट एंजाइम्स वट एंजाइम्स कैन डू एंड वट एंजाइम्स कांट डू सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू एंजाइम्स रिमेंबर एंजाइम्स दे आर नोन एज बायो कैटलिस्ट एंड वट्स दे डू दे एनहांस द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन ऑल द मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शंस विच आर अकरिंग विद इन द लिविंग सिस्टम इट इज अकरिंग ड्यू टू द प्रजेंस ऑफ एंजाइम्स एंजाइम्स आर द वर्किंग होर्स विद इन द सेल नाउ हियर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू कीप इन माइंड enzymes you must be knowing they carry out the conversion of substrate into product but also keep in mind the enzymes they also convert product into substrate so here remember enzymes they actually carry out interconversion enzymes they carry out interconversion of substrate into product same way enzymes the same enzyme can convert the product into substrate now here i just want to tell you let's take one example there is a reaction a is being converted into b and let us suppose in the reverse also b is being converted into a let us suppose you are going to have a test tube within the test tube initially you are going to have 100% a and 100% b and both are in equal amount now you mix and later you have not added any enzyme here okay you waited and let's suppose after one day okay let's suppose after one day this is going to reach the stage of equilibrium and at the equilibrium stage you are going to have let's suppose 80% b and 20% a okay so here after one day this reaction has reached the equilibrium stage at the equilibrium stage what you are going to see rate of forward reaction rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of reverse reaction so at the stage of chemical equilibrium at the stage of chemical equilibrium what you are going to have rate of forward reaction equal to rate of reverse reaction for different different reaction we are going to have different different equilibrium point and let's suppose this reaction has reached equilibrium point after one day now here i just want to tell you if you are going to carry out this reaction in the presence of enzymes okay there is a lot of chance that this reaction can be carried out in just 1 minute okay so initially you were having 100% a 100% b you added one enzyme okay now the reaction will reach okay the same point 80% b 20% a okay within 1 minute now here what you have observed that enzymes enzymes they enhance the they enhance the rate of reaction they enhance the rate of reaction so here they will increase the conversion of substrate into product they will increase the conversion of product into substrate in presence of enzymes in presence of enzymes what is going to happen any reaction will reach equilibrium point equilibrium point in lesser time in lesser time okay but hopefully you have observed enzymes they do not change they do not change they do not change the point of equilibrium point of 
equilibrium. This is very much important. Always remember enzymes, they enhance the rate of reaction. In presence of enzymes, any reaction will reach equilibrium point in lesser time. But enzymes, they are not going to change the equilibrium point. And most of the times, how we calculate the equilibrium point? K, it is equal to concentration of product divided by concentration of substrate. Okay. So here, keep in mind, enzymes, okay, they are actually the biocatalyst. And what they do? They enhance the rate of reaction, okay, of both forward reaction as well as for the backward reaction. Generally, enzymes, they enhance the reaction by 10 to power 6 to 10 to power 17 times. Yes, keep in mind, enzymes, generally they do work at mild reactions condition. In cell, generally you are going to see most of the times pH is equal to 7 and you are going to have cellular temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius. So most of the enzymes, they work in mild reaction condition. But yes, there are cases that, <coughs> for example, enzymes which are present in stomach, they can work at acidic pH. Here, keep in mind, generally for a reaction, enzymes, they are being required at less concentration. Very minute amount of enzymes will be <coughs> responsible to carry out any reaction. And always remember, enzymes, they are biocatalyst. Most times, enzymes, they are proteins. Okay, but there are also enzymes which are going to be RNA. So if any RNA is the enzyme, okay, so in that situation we call it ribozyme, okay. And these proteins, RNA, they are going to have life. They are also going to have life. They are being synthesized. They are being degraded. So most important point here, keep in mind, <coughs> enzymes, they work specifically. They work specifically. So, enzymes, they will convert one particular substrate into product, okay. So, here I have told you enzymes, they actually carry out interconversion of substrate into product, product into substrate. So, hopefully you have learned some basic points related to enzymes. Please do like, share the video and subscribe to my channel, Correct Biology. Thank you for watching this. Have a nice time.